series Unashamed of the Gospel. We're looking at Romans chapter 2, verses 17 this morning. 17, 17 down to 24. Romans chapter 2, verses 17 down to 24. I forgot to my favorite verse, but I forgot to my favorite verse. I forgot to my favorite verse. I forgot to my favorite verse. I forgot to my Atino, or Mawu, my boy from verse 1 to 5. Amen. 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 Thank you so much to all of you who represented us well, and most of all who represented God. Amen. Romans 2, verse 17 to 24. I will not be able to see my name. I was so much fit to, I found out to my fellow boy, Lewis, who my father, if I tell you, yeah. should not commit adultery, do you commit adultery? You who abhor idols, do you rob temples? You who boast in the law, through your breaking of the law, do you dishonor God? For the name of God is blasphemed among the Gentiles because of you, just as it is written. Today I want to talk about a simple topic that is stated as so, God's name is blasphemed. Because of us. 
Your God's name is blasphemed because of us. Amen. God's name is blasphemed because of us. So mena le wala to mana tu fa ama walunga ifa pea o fa pito le bala awa le tu amo ita to le winga ifa pito a fo ile a lo fa le tu amo ita to ai bela na fa ita mo fa ya tu vai aso le tu a uma tu e pe ya te o ile tu la fo no pe le ai e le fa ilo matanga ta le tu ah o mena le to mo fa ya le la o fa sanga i ne ile apostolo apolo ile o tanga ta yuta ya o o e na o tanga ta yuta ya o e mita mita le tu la fo no. We meet a mita in a tua, we meet a mita if I pair or tona if I pitore by our le tua yate oi. I have a aya to eat upu if I may or tone if I pair or tow it and not a tight tight and not a tawasso. Or tow le mala malama is a shulu at you le pomisa. I left from me. I will talk for it and not a year and my son on a leo to tell it. Malaunga, I will in a way totaling a year. Or talk for it or to our out it and not a totale out a yate oi a year. Now, I'm going to find an apostle of Paulo, a letter, a way, a letter, 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 God isn't interested in about how good you preach, how good you teach. No, He's not worried about that. Because you can know the Word of God but still not live according to it. You can talk about the Bible all you want and still not believe in it. Because a person who believes in the word of God, not only believes in it, but he starts to obey the word of God. We have too much people who are smart in the word of God but don't know how to live a holy life. People who can interpret great things, people who speak in tongues, people who have great gifts, but they never live in a way that fears God. They have the law, and because they have the law, they feel special. And you know what? It's okay to feel special. But it's not okay when you feel special and then all of a sudden think you're better than everybody else. Now we may say, well, how does this translate to us? We're not Jews. Yes, but you are Christians and you have been entrusted with the treasure of the word of God. And sometimes as Christians, we get saved and we serve in the church for a long time. We start to act super, super holy. Not that it's bad, but I'm talking about the holiness where we start to think we are better than other people. No. Amen. 
na wapendo cha mfai yetu leo asa yafata huwa yate oilo mori mau olo mori mau leo tele yetu lo mori mau ile tawo na leo tele lo leo olis kama kama leo kele leo kele tono le kale sia ai la kiki lo mori mau ile tua bela na fai yetu ia leo tele lo mori mau lu mo le tua o nga we nga fai tono le kale sia ekele ya ko ka la ilo le le tangata wa lava lo wa mi o lu mo le tua e lo tangata o le tangata le muli muli ya yesu Allah wakaf apa wa ulil fahir mana? Or maku aing lah nafah kuat mana? Or maku aing nafah kuat mau liur fasa? Or maku aing nafahir mana? Mana? Or aku fahir mana? No no no, ada oi. Awal lava ni, awal hotel ni mana? Determine ah macam orang main istana cafe tu main ni okey lekan ni ingat lah okey fira bawa aing mau mau pele leng le motivation. Ah ah, aku fahir ingat main ni mana? Kau main mule kali siap ah mau mule. Ini kau fahir main oh ni oh mea. Oh mea, waktu ini nanti mau lihat tua, oh mea lihat tua, saya mea. Ayat satu itu orang 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 nang ada cang fight tu orang kalau siapa ayat satu mafah ufah why when we serve God it starts with our hearts. That's why I said it's not about the outward. You can look like a Christian, you can act like a Christian, but if you're not changed in your heart, you're not a Christian. You're what our kids like to call a wannabe Christian. And you know when we'll find out who the true wannabes are and the people who are actually following him? Judgment day. Amen. That's why I'm telling you, if you've learned, if you've listened the last past Sundays, I follow a long way of science on fire to life. I would say, Popole fuo oil a o nanga lista nata. Nanga ke wo vai vai ya poi fuo ma oil. I want ngalo ya te oil. If I'm a sinu ele tuwa tangata tai tasi, God will judge every person in how they serve. So don't worry about that brother and sister. He said, just pray for them. Some of us waste energy talking about them, but pray for them. But you worry about your lane where God has placed you. Yeah. Run the race that God has given you. If the yeah. other person has fallen, encourage them, but don't get stuck there because sometimes they pull you into the work world and then all of a sudden you're both sitting on the sideline. Yeah. Find yourself. Make sure you understand. That's why the Bible says, work out your salvation with trembling and fear before God. It says, work out your own salvation. Meaning you still are responsible for your own actions. Amen. Nah, kalau lembah fanya air aku lama sih lelai tua, aku lelai ya, aku lelai ya. Aku siang mau lelai, aku bayi bayi ya. Mian aku aku lelai semua. Lop kelor kala lelai tua. Ya, kita aku bayi bayi fuai ya. Aku 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 ngaji cuma cale poy aku aku ngaji cia. Mian aku fanya tua. Aku lelai aku bayi bayi lo. Aku ngaji lelai tua. Ilo aku bayi full cuma cale bayi bayi. Fama los ya. Aku lelai mau lelai tua. Aku ngaji yai lelai ni. Tahu ya lelai tua. Aku malu aku ngaji. So make sure you run your lane, church. Run where you're at. Whatever God has placed in front of you, do it with your best. Amen. That's why the final words that Jesus says when he sees you is what? Thy good and faithful servant. Amen. And I say it all the time. Those words are useless to someone who's never worked his life here on earth for God's kingdom. Amen. But it's useful for the man that has served God with his whole heart. And so I challenge you this morning. What are you doing for God? Say amen. And when we say, what are you doing for God? I'm talking about using the gifts, using the calling. You don't sit there and call yourself. You don't decide what you're going to do. No, God gives the calling. It's the Holy Spirit who decides what gift you get. Melanga ke baba ayakwa e amata harwa wa umai for kausanga ya lewo ko ile ko yai aisa langa le se mea mai le tua but when god equips you when god blesses you with that calling i'm telling you no matter what happens you will run the race why because you're dependent on god and not yourself I see when you call yourself you're depending on your own skills you're depending on you and guess what all of us are human beings we will fail but when you are called by God, God promises he will never leave you nor forsake you and he will bless you according to that calling. Amen. Amen. Ele tu tu sa uma tato ah ele fai fia uma ele apostolo uma ele perfeita uma ele fai la uma ele a oa o ele que a como wherever God has you serve faithfully serve God to the maximum of your ability say amen and so here when we're looking at this again Paul is looking at the law le ta o tu la fono first thing I want to make you as an observation ele o fa ele o ma ina ele apostolo Paulo tu la fono he is actually confirming the law. Paul is confirming the law. Paul is confirming the law. 
It's a tala in a little la phono, for the upper feta, a wo sawa, a fata nu. A ring of tala a yesu, a leana to la phono. A man on me at a tone to la phono. We need the law because it is the law that tells us what's what good and what's bad. Without the law, we won't know. We could, I mean, could you imagine America if there were no laws? That you can walk into your neighbor's house, shoot them, do whatever you want because there are no laws. That you can drive as fast as you want. That you can hit somebody's kid because there are no laws. That you could sleep and marry whoever you wanted because there are no laws. But that's why we need the laws because it helps guide us. It helps, it helps us understand what's good and wrong. Ele leangal tu la fono, e aungale tu la fono, e iloa itato ya me te taunafai, ma me le te taunafai. There's only one thing that the law cannot do, and the law cannot what? It cannot save us. The law can only point the finger, but the law cannot save us. It can only tell us what the punishment is, but it cannot save us. And that's why we need the grace of Jesus Christ. That's why we need the good news. That's why if you're wondering, we're talking about a series on unashamed of the gospel. Because again, before we can understand the good news, we need to look at the bad news. We need to figure out what the problem is. Why we're going to provide an answer if you don't know what the problem is. We need to look at the problem, and this is the problem. We studied it in chapter 1. We see that people are rejecting God even though they know the truth. And here now we're turning to people who are in the, in the church, people who know God, who have the law, and yet they think highly of themselves. But God says, even you, if you have the law, the law is going to judge you too. And so don't think that anybody... God will judge you, say man. And so again, when we're looking at this, Paul is confirming the law. The law is powerless to save us. It only shows us what is right and wrong, but it cannot save us. Not only does the law show us what's right and wrong, but the law also directs us to what? To God's plan of salvation. So now we know, okay, great, good. Now we know what's good. Now we know what's wrong. But where's the answer? So what is the answer? What is the solution to this? Now we know that there is sin. We know that for all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. We know that the wages of sin is what? Is death. But the gift of God is eternal life. So if we all sin and we fall short of the God, uh, glory of God, then that means we have no hope. But the Bible also points to what? We do have a hope. And that hope is in who? It's in Jesus Christ. That's why we preach the good news, because the good news is about the hope that we have in Jesus Christ. Yes, the wrath of God is against us because of our sins, but we also have the love of God that does not favor anybody. If you, wherever you find you are, no matter how far away you are from God, God's grace can reach out to you. Amen. Because even when we say that God shows no partiality in judgment, God also shows no partiality with his love. He loves everyone. Some of you might be sitting here thinking, well, I don't know if you knew the things that I did. I'm an unlovable person. No, trust me, maybe not with another human being, but God's love is what we call the agape love, which means it's unconditional. Unconditional meaning you don't need to perform. You don't need to do anything. You just simply have to believe and receive and have faith in God. That's why he says what? The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God. It's a gift. And I don't know about you, but if you have a birthday party and you receive a gift, it's normally what? Free. But if somebody's coming, here's your gift, but here's the receipt. Please pay me back after that. It's not a gift. Uh, there's no strings attached, it's unconditional, it's a gift. And so it's same with eternal life, and that's what I don't get, is that it's a gift to many, but yet people still reject it. Why? It's a free gift to you. All you have to do is accept it. All you have to do is believe. And when we do that, the promises of God is faithful. It says that what? not only will you be saved, not only will you have eternal life, but you will have a fruitful life in this world. Amen. 
That's why it says what? The, the devil only comes to what? Steal, kill, and destroy. But I have come so that you can have a what? A fullness of life. You're wondering, oh, I, I, I don't feel satisfied in this life. Come to Jesus. Let him give you the fullness of life. You keep going and you keep doing that one thing thinking that it's going to satisfy you. I'm telling you, nothing will ever satisfy you except Jesus Christ. Nothing can satisfy you except Jesus Christ. No matter where you go, I'm telling you, give it up to Jesus. Accept the free gift that he has. Because nothing will satisfy you like him saying, man. And when we look at that, like I said, the law will direct you. Lang lebo tatu taro tori na salam mo tasi fameya amuhil tanga tailea ele sabani le fil filinga ae amio le ama ele tu fo yo ila le ala we asala ele no fo fo yo ila ele no fo we tsa we mu aya ai na na ila tu la fono e na na le tu la fono yova. Ah, le ngata le fe meya. E ma fa fa wa fa tu la fa no le tu ile le a o ma le po a to. Ah, le po a to. In other words, what it's saying is they meditate. This is the blessing of a person who is founded in God that he doesn't walk in the way of the sinners. He doesn't stand in the way of the sinners. He doesn't sit in the seat of the of the uh, mockers. But instead, his delight, his desire, is in the law of the Lord. And this is why I challenge a lot of people. Some people say, I read the Bible, but I don't get anything. Do you see the key word before the law? It says, his delight is in the law. If your delight is not in the word of God, don't expect to get anything from it. You need to have a desire for the word of God. That's why Paul says, just like hungry babies, I'm telling you, I always tell my wife, I say, Oh no, it's my Judah. Oh no, it's long And I tell her, I said, Man, pray for him. I don't want him to be like that. I'm telling you, it's adamant. No, I'm telling you, if we're in that car and he's in the back, until we'll go all the way to Puyallup. He will cry and cry until we park the car and pop the bottle in his mouth and he's quiet. And sometimes I have to be like, Lord, give me patience over this young man. <laughs> but his desire for milk is what Paul says, so should you desire the word of God. So should you desire. The way that my son is like, I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep on crying until I get that bottle. It should be our desire for the word of God. It's a You say, how can I do that? Meditation is something that happens in your mind that wherever you go, man, you're thinking, you're constantly immersed in the word of God. That verse that you took as your verse for the day, you continually bask in it and you say, God, show me more. You can do it, but it starts with a desire, a delight in the Word of God. And I would challenge you this morning, what do you desire? What is it that you wake up in the morning is the first thing that you do? Hallelujah. And usually it's the first thing that you do in the morning, that's usually where your desire is at. What do you desire, amen? I challenge you this morning. Desire the word of God. When you delight in the word of God, I'm telling you, the Bible says that he will reveal the mysteries of God. He will show you things that you've never seen before. Because a tree that's planted next to the stream has access to food 24 7. Because otherwise, if you're a tree far away from the water, guess what? You're only lucky when it starts raining. 
but a tree that's planted next to the source of life. That's what that idea is, that when you are trusting the Word of God, you are implanting yourself and founding yourself in the Word of God. That means you're planting yourself next to the living waters who is Jesus Christ. Your leaves will never wither. Amen. You will bear fruit in and out of season. That means, but the key to opening and seeing the word of God work in your life, it begins by not only having a delight and a desire for it, but also your obedience in obeying what the word of God says. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, I challenge you. If you come back and say nothing's happened, I'll sit down and have a conversation to your heart to heart talk. Because again, I believe that the word of God is true. Amen. I believe what God's word says. And if it says that you will be blessed no matter what season of life you find yourself in, everybody else will be fading, but you will continue to bear fruit. You will continue to be healthy. You will continue to be strong. Why? Because the word says his delight and his desire is in the word of God. Amen. It's in the word of God. Because here's the thing, the Bible doesn't promise an easy life. And I love that about the Word of God. See, a lot of other people that write books, they promise, after you read this, you're going to be the most successful person in the world. No, the Bible never promises anything like that. Instead, the Bible says what? You will go through trials and tribulations, but be of good cheer. Why? Because I, Jesus Christ, have overcome all things for you. Amen. But here's the thing. The only way you can experience the overcoming power of Jesus Christ is if you endure the process. See, a lot of us, we want to run around and claim victory, but I ask you, what battle have you fought? You cannot claim victory if you haven't first fought the battle. So that's why I'm saying, that's why the psalmist says what I will walk with you uh, in the in the in the valley of the shadow of death. I will fear no one. Why? Because your rod and your staff is there to guide me and lead me. And so when we go through things, we have no fear. Why? Because God is with us. If God is for us, who can be against us? And we're talking about the creator of all things. Who is for you, not against you. And that's why that we have to be careful because the world teaches this God where you got to kind of come and please him. you got to do certain things. No. If it was like that, then why would he send his son to die for you first? Why would he love us first? See, any other religion, you kind of have to please them. you got to offer appeasing sacrifices. you got to visit their graveyards. you got to go through their little statues. But I praise God that when you go to Jerusalem today and you visit where he was buried, there's a big old sign that says, He is risen. He is no longer here. That, what, what does that mean to you and me? That means that the God that we serve is still alive. Every other false god, they're either buried and you got to remember them and their shrines dedicated to them. But we have no shrine. We have the word of God. Why? Because our God conquered the grave and he conquered death. And now he's sitting at the right hand of God. And we're waiting for the day when he will come back and take his church home. But he only takes those who believe in him. Don't get it wrong. Because I said, look, I tell you, I want to be careful because this all sounds good. Amen. So like I said, it's not that these people don't have the law. No, they're blessed. They understand that. And we look at this and we know that they have the law. Number two, he's confirming the fact that they are a chosen people. This is the Amen. 
la me pule a wa wa le tua anga fa pe nga fin fili le tua tanga ta samo fa ngo ngi ka ko fa ka o ka ka samo le fa nga le tua anga ka nga a felika anga nga ka sanga e pole a le tua la na ye tsaitsa inga pa o le me tsa to tsei lo o fin fili nga le tua na fa pe tsoa ya tsanga ta yuta ya e le nga tsa tsanga ta yuta ya fa ma ina ya fa nga ina tsanga ta yuta ya e fa ima fa ma nu ya nga i a inga u ma o le la lo la ni so that's where they got it twisted is yes God did call them. God had a special calling for the Jews, but the problem is they thought God's calling ended there, not knowing that when God called them, he was using them as a vehicle to bring the brightness of the light of God into the world. And that's where they got lost because now they made it about them instead of making it about what God's agenda was. It was now their agenda instead of God's agenda, and that's why Paul had to deal with them, you Jews who say you have the law you who boast in the law you who boast in God you who say that you are a guide to the blind you who say that you are a light in the darkness you who say that you are teaching all of who are foolish do you not first teach yourself Amen. and i love the apostle paul because he addresses it just as it is first teach yourself and as a church we may say how does that apply i'm telling you right now as a leader as an individual you must first learn to teach yourself Ia mua mua tato malam lama le ao ao ina o tato Lama ele ai se me olo alo ya e olo alo ato ya o ao isa ngata ai le mua mua ao ao ina oi Me la nao te fai tete ao mai ta ngata fa mai fia fai me le ma me le O te fia baba ai mua mua lato ao nanga langa ai lista ngata fa mai ta la ta mai te E fia ta ma 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 fa e fia te ina ma ma fa Ai ao te me fai nga lwe nga le tua e le ali ad mai Mena na fa ya tia baba ai fa le na mena o te fia baba ai e fa felo a ona ngai le tua. Na ma mena le tu ku a o lo fa nga ta ma fa fi ta o li ya ke ya ni o le to ya le mai. But like I said when we look at the word of God be careful because again when you look at it is whether you are a Jew or not whether you have a law or not what God cares about is do you teach yourself. Ia mua mua mena fa to te lo tani a ta pena ni ya Allah ho o le te lo tani e mu o tana ta mua mua lu e lu pula o o ha o le tana ta the first person that gets challenged as I am preparing it always challenges me first la ma le upo moni la ale lu i mua mua ya fa fe nga ma ma tu upo ya oto la ma le upo le fa me la pesoro pa ia mua mua ha wa wi na oi ai a wo ke sa we ba me ba me fi ha wa o is nga ka ai le mua mua no fo ila lo ha wa oi I only five for it. I only five for Apostle or Paulo. It's a matter. It lay no lot. It's a matter. Lay no matter. It's a matter. It lay no pole to a. Let me make oil now. It's a matter. You try. Let me go. It's a matter. If I let turn no pole to a. But you are lay. I let my lamb lamb no pole to a. I let five for Apostle or Paulo. Pole I let lay. I let more more. I want oil. I want to feel also also my. I want to feel also I let more more. I want to win oil. That's why I encourage you, church and leaders and everybody, we need to first be teachable. We need to have teachable spirits. As a leader, because you're a leader, doesn't mean you have all the power in the world to do whatever you want. Have a teachable spirit to submit to the leadership of God. Amen. To the leadership of your pastor. Why me? Because then I'm under the leadership of God. And then to every other leader in the church. Why? Because again, they submit to this leadership and I submit to the leadership of God. Mena ele fefe el apostolo e Paulo e faiato o a o Paulo o le apostolo Jesus Cristo e o tu se está em mim meu te faiato já te o tu aí se a mala mala ma Paulo ele o ia ao apostolo a Jesus Cristo mena ele ilo le apostolo Paulo o le pule mai le tua ele o se pule o está nata le fai ele na rua na rua if I get loud, if I get crazy, it's not because of me. Because I understand that the authority that I stand on is not my authority, it's the authority of God. So I do my job. I do my part. And that is to lead because I am tiny. If I'm a sino, 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 if I'm a Ole alofa fo ye le tu ole nga le popolo pa tu fa pe tu le le me oma e fo e time fa tu no ile mo ponga ole tu e a nga le fi oma pa ye le tu e a e a wa e a wa i e fa tu no e fa po tu e tsa tsa pe la tu le time fi fi yo ta tu le a wa o ma fa po tu a ya o lo ka nyol fa tu no a o lo ka nyol le a wa i pe ne fi e tsa tsa 
So make sure that you have a teachable, humble spirit before God. I see Musa can akale awa akule mulua. Ah, oye ngake faya kufa ma oye mai mele mele. Aye baba aye kusa ungingo faya solai masisa. Si ya kaku fai keki kaku fai kalanga fai. Na mele fai apostolo Paulo baba aye mua mua oye ya oye. Me ma fai akoi awo ke popole iskanga fia fia ya kuskusi ya vai vai no iskanga. Me fai ma Yesu ya keke ke fia baba aye fulanga fasila awo le makula. Aye si baba aye fusi kulole onga la onga yo soi fulo oye ma. So again, we encourage, we don't judge our brothers and sisters. Yes, there's holding accountability, but again, I'm talking about the motivation of how you judge. People in the Pharisees, the way, the motivation that they judged people was because they always thought they were better than those people. Amen. Church, no one is ever better than the other person. We're all striving for perfection. We're all working out our salvation. We're all trying to do our best to give glory to God. But please, don't ever come across as someone who is way better than another person. Be careful. Again, run the race that God has given you. Say, man. Stay in your lane. And I love it because we see them from me. We talk here from me. We talk. You know, you know, I to pull ah. I from me what? We talk. Faoa me sa, me sa ah. You who who abhor idols and yet you rob the temples. You know, when you look at this, I say, how do you rob the temple? Fa fe na faoa ye me sa. Ah, tato baba ai ne tu si malaki lela apa ai ah malaki tolu fe ku esfulu fe me ah. O yongo ne fe me awa o a o yova. Otelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelelel
Eu não vou fazer isso aqui, eu não sei o que é. O que é que eu vou fazer aqui? Eu vou fazer o que eu vou fazer aqui. Eu vou fazer o que eu vou fazer aqui. Porque é o primeiro fruto. Alguém diz que é o meu dinheiro, eu trabalho por isso. Mas se Deus te abrir a sua boca essa noite e você morrer, então onde é que o dinheiro vai ir? Não esqueça a força que Ele te deu. Não esqueça nada que Ele te deu para você. Porque a vida de breve que você tem hoje não é promessa para amanhã. Amém. Você vai ter uma vida de breve que você tem hoje. Amém. 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 Ele não olha o cacalo lá, tu vai lá tu vai e a fora em casa de lei, fio fora em casa de lei, o nar vem a lei. I pray that over our church. I pray for God's healing too. I know that a sickness flows. I say, God, please set us free. But you know what? It starts from this when we start putting God in His place and we start making Him first in our lives. Olha lá na na o lofa e fio o cacalo e a mangue a mangue a mangue a ele fa mo mo a lei tu e tato fio filinga matato o ala uma ele se mangue a mo e tato. And that's why I'm challenging you, just like I said, I don't preach this because I'm looking for any money. No, please, like I told you, God doesn't need your money. He's looking for your obedience. Yeah. God has all the money in the world. He can do what he wants to do. He just wants to see your obedience. Yeah. Mangwia oi malo ainga, mangwia me uma que faia, mangwia lo apa falawa, mangwia le fale, mangwia lo ufale malo ufafo, mangwia me uma que faia, que a faia que a usi uska ima fa mua mua le tua malo fingalo. Ya nga o me mangako o kouia faia suluai faia pea. Ya ifa mangia nga le tua aya, ya ya tsa ngata le musu lang faia suluai, faia kau le tu sile mana, ki langoli sile ba inga frame, o tou faoa me sa le tua. Because they ask, how can we draw close? Well, you rob me. They ask, well, how do we rob you? You don't give me the tithes. In other words, some of us, we give half. We don't give all of it. I'm telling you, you may think that it's hidden between us, but it's not hidden before God. Yeah. <laughs> Pemain lo ya, fail on lah tu, buat tu lu lama faham faham. Lebih ni ngaji tau mai, orang ngaji ni mana mana lama sila ni pi pi oleh la fail. Ini faham, kalau si SK ni level faham itu supaya nak tu lu lama faham faham la plan le. Oh le si apa, ayam le si apa faham faham dengan itu. Kau faham, kalau mana kalau apa tu lu faham itu ya. Faham ni faham faham ni pi pelonia le angan apa ya. See, you might think it's the church that's no. You're lying to the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. And you know what? I would rather you lie to a human being who can probably, you know, maybe, you know, yell at you. But to lie to the Holy Spirit, you see the story of Ananias and Sapphira. The Bible says as soon as Peter said that, he fell flat on the floor and died. There's a difference when you lie to another human being when you lie to God. Amen. Don't play around with God. Okay? Don't play on because it's the word of God. Amen. Keep it holy. How do you keep it holy? Don't rob the temple. How are we robbing? Make sure you do your tithing and your offering to the Lord. Not to the church, to God. Amen. That's why I said some of us are thinking, well, oh, no, it's not for the church. It's to God. Yeah. That's why I say I encourage you today. Again, I don't want you to take it wrong. I, we don't need money. No, we're looking for obedience because this is the word of God. Because this is part of it. You who say to abhor idols, yet you rob the temples. That's what these Pharisees were doing. They were robbing the temple of God by bringing these half broken leg sheep with broken, you know, that were half blind and, and spotted. And they were giving this to God. Now you may say, well, we're not offering sheep. Yeah, but the same way you offer your tithes and offering, and you're not doing all of it, 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 it might as well be a, a sheep that's blind. Amen. Why? Because we represent God. That's why I say we need to represent him well. And if we serve God in the way we live and the things that we do, we can tell that God is blessing us. But how can we, we not have things and not do this and we say we're okay? No, God's blessing is a material blessing that will help show the world that God is with us. Not a material blessing so that you can say you have a lot of things. No, 
Because again, it's only to bring glory to God. Amen. Everything that we do is for the glory of God. Say amen. amen. So I encourage you, how are you robbing? Again, think about it. That's why I tell you, God can do way more with your 90% than you could do with 100%. Yeah. Amen. If you ever wonder why you keep giving or you keep uh, uh, you know, paying your bills and doing and you never get anything back, it's because you still haven't trusted God. Yes. You still haven't trusted God. Amen. Yeah, but 10% is a lot. I got bills to pay. So do I. But you know what? God seems to always come through to make sure everything is paid for. Amen. Why? Because I'm trusting Him. I'm trusting Him. And I'm telling you, you can trust Him too. And if it doesn't help, then again, start with the motivation of your heart. Don't give because the pastor is pressuring you. Give because you understand what's being taught in the Word of God. Go read it. I'm only sharing a piece of it, but when you have time, spend time reading it so you can understand. If you have questions, please, we're more than welcome to talk with you after church. But again, the goal is this. It's not about the giving. It's not about the tithe. It's about your obedience to God and His will. Amen. Amen. And there's a difference because, again, anybody who fears God not only comes to church and not only does what he does, but he also respects and obeys his word. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. Why is it at the beginning of wisdom? Because once we understand our relationship with who God is and what He's done for us, the automatic response for every human being is what? Humility and reverence to God. Sometimes we like to call God our Papa God, our, our loving God. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with that. Yes, He's a loving God, but like I tell you all the time, He's also a holy God. He's also a righteous God. He's also the God who will judge the living and the dead based on how we serve them all on earth. Church, what does that mean to you and me? We have a very big responsibility. Amen. 
Ele que ele ainda faz o bunga, faz a água lava louco, lava suia, e faz uma moli mal tangata e é loai. E aí ele me é certo na tela. Ele me é certo. See, when they start to ask those questions, then they know that there's something different. Then to me, that's an opportunity to say, well, let me tell you why I'm different. It's because of my Lord Jesus Christ. Ele ainda leva a água para o vapor. Oi, oi, é louco, oi. Oh. See, and we think about that, but that's why the Bible says, Never make an out of the soul. Hallelujah. Oh, listen, I'm not going to say, hey, what is this? Boom, you know, I'm not going to say, no. Ah. Me, I'm not going to say, 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 what take you so long? Fali Yesu, amen. amen. Ele calcou o Yahoo e malou capo aí na leitura. Ele calcou, é família. Ele calcou mais foi. Ele calcou o Yahesu. Não o Oli se Yahesu não é filho do Oli. O Oli está na cama que há uma ave de sua folha tu a say man. So again, anything you may think we gotta be represent God in big ways. No, it's the little things. It's the little things. You gotta really be patient. When you're driving in a busy road, someone cuts you off. Please show Jesus. Don't show any other fingers, say that. Yeah, I got a cool one. Yeah, oh, Fadi, if one more, what if Fadi is you? Ah, Fadi is you. Man, if I tell you, I get tired too. Yeah, let me do what Jesus. Can I see ya? I wanna ignore you, yeah, too. Yo, oh, let me alone, Fadi, I too am boy, ma. I na yeh me tell. Ele faz o filho e foi ele a lo fazer tudo a morrer mal. Ele a lo fazer tudo olha, ele a ouvir na maioria de su. Ele está a tomar feita hoje para meia. O le tiro não sa, tu me mamou moina. O le toto sa fa amarinina. Sa feia moita nata, sa oé moia. Sa lá tu faz feia, aí para meia, aí se upo. Lei mas se upo na tarde aí, aí se a. Oh no, 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 no he knew that people would say no to his sacrifice, but it didn't stop him from dying on the cross. Why? Because that's his love. He was saying, God, even if people reject me, but for those who will receive me, I die for them. Jesus didn't, he wasn't, the Father didn't say, Jesus, go down. No, Jesus said, I willingly gave my life up for you. Ina iya mawe oe mao le o lai faavao. Ina iya tau a mi o tu ina i tato lu mo le tua. Ina iya fa le le iya le tato wa fi ma i ma le tua. Ina iya fa ma lo lo i fo i tato. Ina iya fa ma ma lo i tato ma salo. 
So remember that church, wherever you go, when it starts bubbling up and you start getting angry, think about what Jesus did. Amen. You know, I know there's those bracelets that they throw on that says uh, WWJD. Anybody remember what that was? Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> what would Jesus do? You know, and we think about it, we say, oh yeah, everybody says that. But I tell you, that's a good thing to remember in those moments when you're about to yell off that waiter and Amen. drive up to that car that cut you off and remember Jesus. Remember what he would do. Remember that everywhere you go, you have two opportunities. Either you bring glory to God or you blaspheme his name. Amen. If I tell you for the tour, that I will swap for the tour, so say, May I tell you, I am a father, say that. Turn to your neighbor and tell him, Make sure you show Jesus today. And every day, say that. Hallelujah. God is good, church. All the time. All the time.